Hello Transformers fans, in this video we're going to be talking about some interesting details surrounding the release of Transformers Rise of the Beast, as well as Hasbro's new strategy for Transformers in 2022. Hasbro recently published its 2021 annual report and the 2022 proxy statement which is available for general public to read online. In the report we have some interesting notes surrounding the Transformers franchise and the current agreement between Paramount Pictures and Hasbro. Hasbro and Paramount penned a deal back in November 2017 which extended the partnership they already had which allowed Paramount to distribute the live action movies based on Hasbro properties including Transformers. The deal was a five year agreement which will end in November 2022 after which the deal will be up for renewal and it will be down to Hasbro whether they choose to continue working with Paramount or not. This has raised questions on how the upcoming Rise of the Beast movie will fit into this scenario. Rise of the Beast was originally set for release in June of this year, however it was delayed, meaning this movie will now be released next year on June 9th 2023. This will mean Rise of the Beast would be released outside of the current agreement between Hasbro and Paramount, which does raise some questions how that will work. Hasbro's annual report actually gives us a better insight of what's going on. It tells us that Transformers Rise of the Beast is a project that will still be released under the original 2017 agreement due to the movie's original July 2022 release date. Hasbro also mentioned that the upcoming Dungeons and Dragons movie is not part of the same agreement and instead is part of a separate deal between Hasbro and Paramount. Here's what was said. In October 2017 we entered into an agreement with Paramount Pictures to produce and distribute live action and animated films as well as television programming based on Hasbro's brands over a five year period. Hasbro's global E1 studio plays an active role alongside Paramount in content development and production under this relationship. Hasbro also plays a significant role in financing films created through this cooperative agreement. Under this relationship we plan to release Transformers Rise of the Beast, a feature length film expected in summer of 2023. In addition, under a separate agreement entered with Paramount, where Hasbro's E1 studio will serve as the production entity, we plan to release a Dungeons & Dragons feature length film, expected in early 2023. Hasbro also talked a little about the success of the relaunch of their My Little Pony brand and how they plan to build a similar approach for Transformers and Dungeons & Dragons. In regards to this, Hasbro stated, Last year marked the successful relaunch of an iconic Hasbro franchise brand, My Little Pony. Led by the expertise of the E1 team, My Little Pony, a new generation animated feature and global campaign drove the brand. The film fueled greater than 100% growth in toy and game point of sale in the fourth quarter 2021 and double digit growth in licensed consumer products for the year. With a significant multi-year content roadmap led by E1, including 500 minutes of animation this year alone and a deep and innovative merchandise program, we believe My Little Pony is positioned to reclaim its place as a leading global lifestyle brand through expansive blueprint activation. We are actively building similar executions with Transformers starting in 2022 and Dungeons and Dragons in 2023. So some interesting statements from Hasbro, hopefully this new strategy will be a success for Transformers and their other properties. Let me know your thoughts on everything we've talked about and do you think any of this will affect Transformers Rise of the Beast and future plans for further instalments. Also tell me what you think Hasbro's approach should be for Transformers in 2022 and beyond. Make sure to leave us a comment why not drop a like on this video and until the next one thanks for watching